All right, so the next thing, guys, we're going to focus on are the game covers. Now, the game covers all come from the, pretty much all are come from the same place. They come from Multiman, S Man, Webman Mod, Webman, uh, Iris Man. They they all draw the covers from the same location. That's in Multiman, and uh, here in S Man, it's no exception. So when you open up this GUI, you see the covers here, and uh, I'm going to focus right now on the uh, on the uh, Street Fighter one. All right, because it's a PlayStation 2. I have one PlayStation 2 uh, genuine ISO in there. And uh, whenever you have games that are in ISO format, make sure if you want the covers to display that the cover's name is exactly the same, and it is case sensitive. It has to be exactly the name as the ISO. I'll show you in a minute. Um, you can go online. There's various places to, to get covers from. Um, Freecovers.net is really my favorite place because you have all the different type of systems here on the side, and then you just, you know, type in uh, the name. I had already looked for Street Fighter before. I put PlayStation 2. I hit Go, and then look at all the PlayStation. I mean, all the PlayStation 2 Street Fighter stuff that came out. Now, not all of this is Street Fighter. They also put anything that had the word fighter in it there's a bunch of street fighter stuff here not only are the covers here you get the front you get the back sometimes you get the the disc art as well so um you know it tells you what it is over here on the right hand side so free feel free to go there i think there's also freecovers.com is another place all right so let's go ahead and let's go into multi-man i'll meet you in the multi-man file manager okay so here we are in multi-man file manager we're going to go to dev hdd zero and here are the uh, ISO folders. All right, so we have the PS2 ISO here. And I have some PS2 Classics ISOs, so these are just a different type of format deal. But most people just use the regular ISO. And so here we have the Street Fighter Anniversary Collection ISO. As you can see, the image is named exactly the same. Uh, again, it's case sensitive. The ISO is always, you know, dot ISO small letters, and the JPEG is dot JPG again small letters, and um, and it you shouldn't have a problem. I always keep the images below 600 by 600 for them to display right, like the Street Fighter one did. It's usually something like 540 by 600 or um, uh, 560 by 600, somewhere around there, and they tend to display pretty good, like the same size as the other ones. Now these folders. Um, aside from these that you can manually put here, the multi-man ones that all the um, other programs draw from are located here in the game folder, and then the multi-man is bless 80608, so 80608, bless 80608, and then go to USRDIR, and then here's the folder for the covers, and just look for your game. If you're not sure which one it is, you could just double click it here and see it opens up. So pretty easy. Just take it out make sure you make note of the size. Make sure it's named exactly the same before you put it back. And this will be the cover that displays in Webman, S-Man, uh, and all those other apps. So they're located here. All right. So that's pretty much it for Multiman. You can also mess with things here. Like if you go into fonts, for example, you can add your own fonts, go to user. Now, in Multiman, for example, whenever you come across things like this, sometimes you can keep adding to it. Like you can maybe add font number six, font seven, and see if they work. But sometimes it will only work with just the names that are displayed. So you may have to replace, let's say, font three with whatever font type you want. Just make sure it's a TTF type font. Uh, put it in here and then rename it font three, font four, whatever you want. Um, you know, try adding a fifth or a sixth or whatever. If it doesn't work, then that means you have to just replace the ones that are there. So again, don't you know? Don't be scared to look around these apps and see what you come up with. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to pause for a second because I'm going to show you how to change all the user icons. All right, guys. Now here we're going to show you how you can go ahead and change uh, all those icons if you want um, that you that you have by default when you make a new account uh, those stock ones that are really ugly and goofy um, you can either change those or you can just add uh, whatever icons you want to them so um, let's go here if you're gonna go through multi-man you need to come to the second column where it says settings scroll the way down to the bottom and somewhere near the bottom you should see right access to dev flash 
make sure you enable it. All right, and then we are going to go, and before you get out of multi-man, always make sure if that's enabled, that you've disabled it. So we're going to enable it for now. We're going to go into File Manager. If you're following along via FTP, um, you can go ahead and just follow along. For example, if you're using the Rebug Toolbox, just go into the Dev Rebug folder. That allows you to write to Dev to your Dev Flash. Here we're going to go into Dev Blind, which lets us do the exact same thing. And now everybody will follow along. We'll go to VSH. We'll go to Resource, and then we're going to go to the Explorer uh, folder, and then we're going to go to the User folder. And here are all those icons. We can just double click on one and see they're these ugly, goofy stock ones. Now you can go here and you can change all of them if you want. Just make sure when you put your image back or your icon that it's, you know, the same number. But you can also just add to these if you just want to leave them there. Now the icons need to be 162 by 162 in size. Uh, that's the size that all these icons are. So just keep that in mind. Now you see that they end with number 26. All right, so number 26 is that one. Um, but you can just keep adding ones here. Just make sure the number keeps going up. So let me show you. Um, I have my FTP set up here on the desktop. So let's shrink this for a bit. Let's bring up the FTP. I'm already there. Okay. Now you can see I have my transformer icons here all ready to go. They're all 162 by 162. I'm a fan, especially of the old school stuff. So um, I went ahead and started uh, labeling them 027, 028, 029, 030, and I just kept going in order, all right, all the way till 037. So um, this last one, I'm not going to use it. That's for another project. Now I'm just going to place these right in there. And let's wait so they transfer over. There we go. All right. And let's go here. And now if I back out and I come right back in, we'll see that they're all right there. All right. And there's 27, 28, 29, 34. They're all here. Let me double click on one. See? And there they are. So that's how you can just keep adding to them. I don't know how far you can go. Um, I've gone as far, I think, as 39 or 40. Um, but you could probably go further than that. All right, so we can go ahead and close this out, and uh, let's go to games, and then remember to go, if you're using Multiman, go to the second column and disable this before you leave Multiman. And now we can go ahead and go to the XMB. We don't need to restart. All right, I'm going to minimize that. Let's minimize this here. And I've already made this change before, but let's go ahead. You see that there? Okay. Let's go in. No, we're not going to log out. I'm going to go over there. Let's go to information. And when we click on that, see, now we have all of our icons that we transferred over there. We got all of these ugly ones still there. But uh, I could have overwritten them with these if I chose to. All right. And that's pretty much it, guys. So that's how you uh, change those. And you can, again, you can go as far as as you like, as you want to take it. I'm not sure how far that would be. I probably wouldn't do more than like 40 or 50. So just swap the ugly ones that are there. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. That's it. This is the last part of this. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. We're going to keep bringing you more good stuff. And uh, we are going to work on that um, console ID series this week is going to start getting worked on. It really is a lot of stuff. We're going to do... Uh, a lot of neat presentation stuff and, and whatnot. So, yeah. All right. And uh, also, the link for donations, if you care to donate, you want to keep uh, the motivation up for us bringing you uh, all this stuff, then, of course, every little bit helps uh, if you like. But make sure that you subscribe and thumbs up. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time.